Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is David Deeruff, and I am on the streaming team at Datastax. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, getting started with Pulsar SQL. If you don't already have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can go to astra.datastacks.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running. If you have any questions about today's video, you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. This will reach the team at Datastacks and we'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. So what is Pulsar SQL? So first, let's say we have a Trino cluster of workers. Uh, by the way, Trino is formally called Presto SQL, but it's called Trino now, so we're going to use Trino. And so the Pulsar cluster uh, obviously has the broker and stores the messages and all that. Trino makes the message, message data queryable. That's its job. But how does it do that? Because I want to do things like select star from my topic or select these fields from my topic. How does all that happen? That is the Presto Pulsar connector is built into Apache Pulsar distribution. If you've already downloaded uh, uh, Pulsar, then you already have uh, Presto in there. Basically, the Presto Pulsar connector creates the translation between what, the way Trino talks, and that is a schema table column, uh, very much a relational database kind of model, into how Pulsar talks, and that are segments within bookies. The Pulsar documentation says, in the Presto Pulsar connector, data is read directly from the bookkeeper. So Presto workers can read concurrently from horizontally scalable number of bookkeeper nodes. Now this is of note because we're not in our typical model here of a producer and a consumer and all that. This is reading directly from the bookkeeper. So you've got some serious performance happening here. All right, so how is this uh, configured? Who are all the players here? You've got three options for getting a Trino worker cluster going. First, within uh, bin pulsar script, you can pass in the uh, SQL worker command and it will bring up an embedded Trino worker within the cluster. Uh, and it also has some configurations and everything uh, baked into it. So that's one way. You could also uh, have a Trino cluster on your own. That's probably more reasonable for uh, production. Uh, and then we're going to connect the two together uh, with a uh, configuration file that we'll talk about in just a minute. Or the third, probably my favorite, is Datastax. Uh, Datastax has a uh, Pulsar Helm uh, deployment, uh, and within it, you can just set the number of Presto SQL workers, and it will take care of configuring everything and getting it going. Now, as far as configuration goes, uh, within your Apache Pulsar distribution, you're going to notice a, a lib folder, and inside there is going to be a Presto folder. That Presto folder is a bit of an emulation of how Trino uh, actually installs itself in an instance. Uh, because inside of there, there's a plugin folder. And within that plugin folder, you have a folder for each of the connectors. So within this plugin folder, there's a Pulsar Presto connector folder. Uh, and that has the uh, artifact for the connector as well as all its dependencies. Also within that Presto folder is uh, the ETC folder. And inside there is the catalog folder. And this is a Trino thing. Once you gather up all your connectors together and you start up Trino, it considers it a catalog of connectors uh, that you can use. And so that catalog folder has a pulsar.properties file in there. And if you look inside that file, there's all kinds of values in there. That is how you configure your connection between your Trino workers and your Pulsar cluster. So in terms of connections, uh, we've got uh, three main choices here. The first is the uh, Presto shell. And so that is uh, baked into uh, Pulsar. Uh, you go to bin Pulsar and you give it the SQL command and it will bring up Presto shell. And then you can do select star from my topic and all kinds of fun things there. In my opinion, that's more for development and all that. When you want to get into something that's going to take you to production, that's going to be the JDBC connection. And most connectors that uh, have an integration with Presto, which now is called Trino, uh, they're going to be using the JDBC connection because that's a pretty durable thing, pretty known thing. 
Uh, and so that's for something like Superset. And uh, I don't know how many other uh, connectors are out there for Trino, but I think most of them are using the JDBC connection. Alternatively, though, if you don't have that option, then there's a REST API. And your Trino cluster has an interface for uh, just doing RESTful commands. So you can do something like post to the cluster, select star from topic, and it will give you back uh, a big, long JSON document uh, with the results. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for other peoples to find this video and grow the Pulsar community. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go directly to the Pulsar team here at Datastacks. Thank you for watching.